Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and blessings be upon each and every single one of you. You know, Ramadan is a time of unity. It's a time of togetherness. And in this series, we'll be talking about the things that we all unite upon in this month of Ramadan for the improvement of ourselves, for the improvement of our communities, and for the improvement of our society as a whole. So when it comes to fasting together, the word sown or siyam, plural, means abstention. So it means to leave off something. So the first level that we all leave off together is food and drink, specifically from sunrise to sunset. That leaving off food and drink is a testament to our submission to God Almighty, the creator of everything that exists. But that is just the first level of fasting. After taking the conscious choice of saying, I'm not going to eat between this time and that time. The next thing that comes is the fasting of the limbs. Because the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, as we also see in the example of Jesus Christ whenever he was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, and the devil came and tempted him. It's not just about not eating and drinking, but it's also about what you say and what you do. So the second level of fasting for us as Muslims that we all try to engage in together is the concept of purifying the things that we say and focusing in very much so on what it is that we do. And that's something that we'll be talking about more in the next one. But the third level of fasting is a fasting of the heart and a fasting of the mind. You see, when a person is fasting, maybe the first thing that they think about is themselves. I'm so hungry. I'm so thirsty. And that focus on hunger and thirst may make them lose sight on the importance of pursuing as much good as humanly possible. But then when a person is finally able to get over those base inclinations of just food and drink, and they really focus in on doing the most that they can for themselves and for others, then the actions become congruent with spiritual progress. But if all of those things are moving forward, but the heart is still tainted and weighed down, by dark feelings of not forgiving others, of not letting go of resentment or lingering with regret and remorse over things that we simply cannot change, then that means that now we must abstain from negativity and invest in positivity. Similarly, if a person is saying good things, doing good things, leaving off food and drink for the month of Ramadan, but they're still holding on to negative thoughts and really, uh, you know, maybe like lewd forms of thinking or uh, not really focused on purified, positive thinking, then that means that now we try to also abstain from negativity and invest purely in this month of Ramadan in positivity. And so this is what fasting means for us together. And at its base level, we all reach the first level, which is submission to God by leaving food and drink for sunrise to sunset. But the next level is pursuit of actions of goodness and then last but not least purification of the heart and the mind and these are things that we all come together to do with the same goal of pleasing god almighty jazakumallahu khairan may god almighty reward each and every single one of you wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh